thank you for joining me today in this short flow practice, focusing on really anchoring into the present moment, using our breath, using our poses, using some gentle vinyasa, and finding peace of mind in the now. Hi friends, so today's practice we're gonna start seated. So take a moment and just get something to allow yourself to be comfortable for a few minutes. I'm sitting on my trusty bolster, grab a blanket or a pillow and take a moment just to really get comfortable and allow yourself to feel supported and balanced by whatever you're, you're sitting on. Take a moment to lengthen up through the spine you can roll the shoulders a couple of times down the back. And we'll start with a nice, long, deep breath in through the nose. Hold that breath at the top of your inhale. And then long, complete exhale out through the mouth. Just let the breath go. Sink down into your seat and sit up even taller. Well, today I wanted to start with gaining inspiration from the Yoga Sutra. And the Yoga Sutra really are like the handbook, the guidebook of yoga. And they were written over 2,000 years ago by the sage Pantanjali. And the first Yoga Sutra is Atta Yoga Nushasanam. Atta Yoga Nushasanam. And this can be interpreted to come out as n now. Here is yoga as I have observed it. So Pantanjali is not only wanting to share with us his observations. Hey, listen up, guys. Now here is yoga. He's also reminding us of the importance of the present moment, the now, Atta. And yoga in the sense of dissolving all opposites, this sense of union, is this ever-present state. And we can feel it and experience it by coming in to the present moment, giving ourselves the time and the space to be truly present. So yoga is now. Yoga wasn't yesterday. Yoga isn't in half an hour. Yoga isn't next week when we've got our new yoga pants. Yoga is now, Atta. So for today's practice, we will keep coming back to the breath, and using our poses to really anchor us into the now. So if your eyes are not already closed, softly, gently close them. Once again, just allow yourself to sit up tall and the shoulders to be soft. And we'll bring a hand just to rest at the upper chest. And start to really feel the movements of the breath here. Notice how the hand on the chest gently moves with each breath. You can feel the breath softly moving in the belly. Allow the spine to stay long. Release any gripping in the face and the jaw, around the eyes, or around the forehead. And stay connected to now by feeling each breath. And observe how your body's feeling in this very moment. Of course, if you need to make any slight changes to how you're sitting, please do so. Allow yourself to be comfortable. 
Observe and honor how your energy is feeling in this moment. And gratitude for this present moment. Gratitude for now and now and now. Atta Yoga Nushasanam. When you feel ready, you can release your hands back to the lap. Take your time opening your eyes. We'll take a little twist to the left and keep that spine long. Gaze over the left shoulder. A few breaths here. End of your exhale, come back to center, twist to the right. Staying with the breath. Releasing back to center, end of your exhale. We'll take one more time to the left. Keep the spine long, shoulders soft. Releasing back to center, find your twist to the right. Full deep breaths. And find your way back to center and just pause. Come forwards from center <coughs> and we're gonna find all fours. And move straight into our cat cow. Set yourself up here, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Again, staying connected to the breath. As you inhale, lift the crown of the head, the heart and the tailbone. And as you exhale, round. Take this a few more times. Moving with the pace of your breath. Feel the ground beneath you, supporting you under the hands, under the lower legs. Feel the lift of the core, particularly end of the exhale. Belly button softly draws in and up. Find that sense of balance there, either side of your spine. Let's take one more round of cat-cow. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, rounding. And the end of your exhale, let's add on here, lift the hips and find downward facing dog. Gazing back towards the toes. It may feel nice just to nod the head. Yes, no. Step the feet together, lift up on the tippy toes and play with dropping the heels down towards the mat. A few breaths here. And then we'll take the feet wide to the edges of your yoga mat in the same way, just playing with this, pushing back into the heels, grounding through the palms, staying connected through the core. One more breath. Return the feet to downward facing dog legs. Feet are about hip width apart. Enjoy last round of breath there. And then with an exhale, bring the knees back to the mat. We're going to come up to high kneeling here and find our gate pose. Kick your right leg out to the side. And with an inhale, reach up with that left arm and exhale, leaning over to the right. Lengthening out of that, up through that left side of the body. One more deep breath there. Inhale, come up through center and exhale. Drop that left hand down to the floor. And of course, you can use a block. Right arm extends up. And then you can play with lifting this right leg. So we're in like a modified half moon pose here. Use the breath. Last round of breath. 
Exhale, find center. Come back to where we started, that right leg still out to the sides. And then we'll release the hands back to the earth. And we're gonna heel toe our right leg around. And bring that foot between the hands. With an inhale, low lunge, arms sweep overhead. And on your exhale, bring the hands back to the floor. Inhale here and exhale, drop the hips back, starting to straighten that right leg. Inhale, come forwards, bend that right knee softly and exhale, drop the hips back. And we're gonna stay there this time. Bow the heads. Use the breath. That right hip draws back, that left hip draws forward. Finding as much balance as you can there through the hips, through the pelvis. Last round of breath. Inhale, bending that front knee. Find your way back to your downward facing dog. Taking one more breath here. Inhale, come forwards into your plank. And with your exhale, lower down onto your belly. If you're ready for Chaturanga Nup Dog, of course, please take it. Inhale, little cobra looking up. And with your exhale, rolling back, find downward facing dog. We'll pause here for just a couple of breaths. End of your next exhale, release those knees back to the floor. And we're gonna find our gate pose on the other side. So take your time, coming up to high kneeling, left leg steps out to the side. Inhale up with that right arm and exhale, coming over that left leg. Lengthening this time out along through that right side of the body. One more breath there. Inhale, coming up through center, right hand supports you beside you. Left arm straight up in the sky and lifting that left leg for our modified half moon pose. Final round of breath. End of your exhale. Coming back to the start of our gate pose. We'll release the hands to the floor and heel toe left foot between the hands. Low lunge, inhale, arms sweep overhead. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale here, exhale, dropping those hips back. One more time, inhale, bend that front knee. Exhale, hips drawing back. Pausing here. Soften the upper back, soften the shoulders. Notice all those little places that the body wants to hold on. Send your breath there. One more round of breath here. Inhale, left knee bends. Find your way back to your downward facing dog. One more breath. Inhale, come forwards to plank. And with your exhale, lower down through your version of vinyasa today. And of course, as ever, feel free to skip any vinyasas if that is not calling for you today. We're going to meet back in downward facing dog. Pausing here, three nice full deep breaths. End of your next exhale. Tiptoe the feet towards the hands. Walking towards the front of your yoga mat. When you get there, inhale, flat back, lift the heart. Fingers on the floor, or your shins, and with your exhale, fold over the legs. Keep those knees soft if you need them to. And then inhale, we'll come all the way up to standing. And exhale, join the hands together at the heart. Pausing here, finding your Tadasana today. So from Tadasana, release the arms actively down to the sides. Take a moment just to really feel in to the now. Feel where you are in this present moment. Lift the toes, 
root down through the arch, through the four corners of each foot and feel the arches of your feet lift. And then allow the toes to come back down to the floor to support you. Feel the legs active, drawing through the core. Keep the spine nice and long. Heart center open. Just enjoying just a couple of nice full deep breaths here. Noticing exactly how you're standing in this present moment. With your next inhale, sweep arms overhead. And with your exhale, left hand comes down to the side and right hand reaches over. Inhale, bring that left hand back, the hands meet at center. Exhale, right hand down, leaning to the right. One more time each side, inhale, hands together. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, hands together. Exhale, lean to the right. This time, inhale, reaching up, and with your exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, step or jump back to your plank, down through your vinyasa today. And we will meet back in our downward facing dog. And enjoy down dog for five breaths. Feel free if you would prefer to take child's pose right now. Please do so. This is your practice. Taking a last round of breath there. End of your exhale, either stepping or hopping to the top of your mat. And with your inhale, nice long spine, looking forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing. And exhale, join hands together at the heart. Surya Namaskar A. So we're going to take one more of those exactly the same way. Take a moment just to pause at center. Stand up tall. Moving on an inhale, sweep arms overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up halfway, and exhale, find your way back to your plank, down through your vinyasa today. Up dog, little cobra as you inhale, rolling back to your down dog on an exhale. Five breaths. Keeping your gaze on a single point of focus to draw you further and deeper into the now. Following the sound of your breath, anchoring you in this present moment. So end of your next exhale. Once again, stepping or hopping to the top of your mat. And with your inhale, the heart lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Standing tall, finding center, Tadasana. One more breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, the heart lifts. Exhale, come back down through your plank, down through your vinyasa, meeting back in downward facing dog. I'm losing my mic here. Enjoy one more full deep breath there in your down dog. And then we're gonna step the feet together so the big toes are touching. And enjoy a few breaths here, just rooting down into the heels lengthening through the backs of the legs. On your next inhale, the right leg lifts, bend the right knee and open up through that right hip. See if you can keep yourself balanced and even, right side, left side, through the front of the body. One more breath there. And then with an inhale, step forward with that right foot. And we're going to bring the left knee down to the floor. We're going to bring the hands now to the inside of that right foot. And we're going to set up for our lizard pose. <clears throat> 
So for lizard, feel free to take any props that you have if you wish to use them. You can walk this right foot out towards the right edge of your yoga mat, and you may even want to turn out on the baby toe side of that right foot. You can stay up on the hands as I'm doing. You can even drop down onto the forearm, so use the support of a block or a bolster. Option two, also lift that back knee if you wish. So find a lizard pose that supports you today. Opening up through the hips. Last round of breath. If you're on your forearms, come back to the hands. And we'll walk that right foot back between the hands. So from here, tuck the back toes under, lift the back heel, and we're gonna come into our crescent lunge. So find your balance here, really pulling you. Balance is a wonderful practice to really pull us into the present moment. We're just gonna take a couple of breaths here. And then with an exhale, bring hands to rest at the heart. From here, we're gonna transition into our half moon pose. And I know I'm gonna love balancing, balancing with talking here. So we are going to bring the left hand to the left hip. You can bring both hands to the hips if you wish. Set your gaze to the outside of the right foot and your right hand is going to come down to the right side of the yoga mat as the back leg lifts. Spin the hips open, allow the chest to be open, and if it works for you to lift that left hand up towards the ceiling, do so. Flex the back foot, possibly gaze towards that left hand. Keep rooting down into that right foot, and we're going to hold here for just a little longer. Notice where your mind wants to take you as you hold here. Are you happy to keep breathing here? Or do you wish to move into what's coming next? Enjoy one more full deep breath. And know, of course, you can use a block here. You can even take this pose by the wall. And slowly releasing out of this gracefully with ease, coming back to our high lunge. Enjoy a full deep breath. Exhale, coming down through vinyasa. Finding your way back to your downward facing dog. Gazing back towards the toes. Last round of breath, join the feet together. Root the heels down towards the mat. Stay lifted through the core. Inhale, left leg lifts. So stay balanced through the hands. Open up through that left hip. Bend that, that, right, that left knee. Moving on your inhale, come forward with that left foot. Drop the right knee down to the floor. Find your lizard pose here. We're going to bring the hands to the inside of our left foot. Set up for your lizard on this side. Use any props that you wish. Possibly come down to the forearms, wherever you are, just honoring that place, listening to your body. Enjoy one more full deep breath. Come back to the hands if you're on the forearms. Walk that left foot between the hands. Take your time. We're finding crescent lunge. When you're ready, lift up. Raise the arms overhead. I've lost the mic. <laughs> arms extend overhead. Use the breath. End of your next exhale, hands to the heart. We'll bring that right hand to the right hip, left hand to the left hip. Set the gaze outside of that left foot. Coming forward with that left hand, finding our crescent lunge on this side. <clears throat> Open through the hips, 
open through the chest. Be with your breath. Full deep breaths, really connecting you to the now. Nice strong foundational leg. Last round of breath there. Releasing back to your crescent lunge. Arms sweep overhead. Big breath. Exhale down through vinyasa. Find your way back. Downward facing dog. Last round of breath in your down dog. And once again, tiptoe the feet towards the hands. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding Tadasana once again. Enjoy one more breath there. Inhale, arms sweep overhead. And with your exhale, left hand down beside you, lean to the left. Inhale, hands come together. And exhale, lean to the right. I found my other little mic fluffy thing. <laughs> Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, hands come together above the head. And with your exhale, fold forward once again. But we're staying here this time. Find your forward fold here. Any variation that works for you today. Possibly hold on to your opposite elbows and just allow the body to hang here. Soften. If you need to use the support of a block or your fingers on the floor, please do so. Just a few more long deep breaths. And releasing the hands down to the floor or to your shins with your inhale, the heart lifts. Look up halfway. Exhale back to your plank and down through your vinyasa. Last one. Inhale, up dog or little cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Gazing back towards the toes. Rooting through the hands, grounding through the feet. Can you keep your focus on the breath and that single point, your drishti? Maybe something just on the mat between the toes or between the knees. Final round of breath. And then bend the knees and look forward. And you may want to bring the hands a little closer together. And either stepping or hopping the feet either side of the hands, we're going to come into our squat, malasana. A wonderful pose for really rooting and grounding into the present moment. If you need to sit on something, of course, please do so. You can slide block or cushion underneath you. Keep the spine long. Elbows working into the inner thighs. Root down through the feet. Last round of breath. Coming down to sitting from here, we'll join the soles of the feet together. <clears throat> Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And with your exhale, fold forward. And this time, those elbows come to the inner legs and just help draw the legs closer toward, towards the floor. Soften the hips. Soften through the upper back. Enjoying one more breath there. Inhale, looking up, come back to sitting. And we're going to bend the knees and we're going to find a boat pose here, Navasana. So find a place of balance. If the hands need to stay on the floor, of course, you can keep them there to support you. Keep the spine long, the knees can lift, legs can be straight, whatever feels 
right for you today. You can even play with just lifting one leg at a time. And find your boat. Draw in through the core, gazing towards the toes. Smile. <laughs> Last round of breath. End of your exhale, release the feet to the floor. Feet come hip width apart, hands come behind you, fingers facing your bum. Push down into the hands and the feet and with an inhale, lift the hips. Reverse tabletop and you can either gaze towards the knees or you can drop the head back, whatever feels most comfortable for your neck. Pushing down once again into the hands, into the feet. Keep lifting those hips. Last full deep round of breath there. And if you exhale, lower back down to the floor. Join the soles of the feet together. And if you need to pad under the knees, please do so. Inhale, spine is long. And with your exhale, bowing over the feet again. Staying here just a little longer. In these longer holds of the poses, when there's less movement to distract us, sometimes it can be even harder to stay in the now, atta. The mind wants to pull us away to what's coming next, or reflecting over what came before. If you find that happening, can you gently, kindly just bring your awareness and your focus back to the breath? Make a last round of breath there. Moving with your inhale, coming up to sitting. And just come back to where we started, Sukhasana, sitting cross-legged. Hands can just rest on the lap, wherever feels comfortable. Close the eyes for a moment. Just really rooting into our present moment. Just take a nice long inhale and hold the breath, top of the inhale, breathing in through the nose. Exhale the breath out. End of your exhale, hold the breath out. Just pause. And then blink the eyes open, breathing normally. From here, we're going to come down onto our backs. Supta Baddha Konasana, our reclined butterfly pose. Allow yourself to relax down here. Wriggle the shoulders underneath you. Soles of the feet together. If you wish to use props for this, please do so. Pat under the knees. Take a few deeper breaths. And with each exhale, sink down into the, into the floor. Let go here. Letting go of tension in the body. Letting go of any tightness through the lower back through the shoulders, through the hips. Letting go, but yet staying connected to your breath. Following the inhale and the exhale. If you wish to stay here a little longer, of course, please do so. I'm going to draw the knees now into the chest and then gently rock side to side. And then keeping that right knee drawing in, left leg can go long. Guide that right leg over to the left side of the floor. The yoga mat and right arm comes behind you, finding that one, that single leg twist. Soften through the chest through the upper back. Last breath there. 
Inhale, return to center. Take the same thing on the other side. Left knee comes in, right leg goes long. Guide that left leg over. Left arm could come behind you, turning the head to the left. One more round of breath here. And come back to center. Take any props that you wish. We're gonna slide into Shavasana. The legs can go long, arms can rest at the sides. A couple of full deep breaths. Exhaling out through the mouth. Just allow the body to sink into the floor. Staying fully connected to your present moment, your now. I hope that you can stay here for at least five or 10 minutes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Remember Atta Yoga Nushasana. Namaste. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Right. <laughs>